Hey guys, radio again. Um, this should be the last Procaster tutorial. Um, it's a very quick one because I'm going to do the last three tabs all at once. Uh, they're very simple, so let's get right down to it. Uh, you click on Preferences and uh, let's check out the desktop, the desktop tab first. Okay, um, you'll notice that my mouse on the screen is A, showing, and B, highlighted. Um, there are two settings here, uh, Show Mouse and highlight mouse that you're going to want to uncheck when you're doing video streams or you know game streams and the point of that is that sometimes you will be using your mouse and uh, it will be showing up on the screen and if you have maybe show mouse unchecked and highlight mouse checked um, it will it won't show the mouse to you or it won't show the mouse but they still have a big yellow blotch in the middle of your screen so um, you will obviously always see your mouse but there are. It's not very good for your stream quality. No one wants to see a mouse in the middle of the screen. No one wants to, re, you know, realize that you're on a computer. It's all about nostalgia, right? So, um, hide the mouse, hide the preview, uh, let it just be the game. Um, show preview in the bottom left corner. Um, if I were to go live, you would see a, you know, what is actually being streamed, um, and, you know, that's just a way to kind of monitor what you're showing. Um, ensure that you're showing the game and not like your webcam or whatever. Um, it's helpful, not not terrible. Um, ah, excuse me. Okay, minimize the window when broadcasting will mean that the the Procaster chat will minimize when you click broadcast. Um, typically, you're not going to want to do that, so I've never checked it. Don't show me any more quality suggestions. Um, you'll get the opportunity as soon as it shows you a quality suggestion to check this automatically. So, um, you know, check it. it it's never going to tell you anything very special except for that you need to switch to Windows Vista Basic. <clears throat> Save video to file. This is very important. If you're going to want to upload your videos to the archives, then you're going to have to save them locally using this option. So you click Save Video to File. All the videos will then be downloaded to your My Videos folder, uh, which you can then name, sort, and upload to YouTube, and uh, then put in the archives after you make it a playlist. And, you know, that's a whole other tutorial. It's already done in there. So um, save videos to file if you want to put your videos in the archives. Also, it's a, you know, live stream deletes clips automatically every uh, fucking day. So, um you know, it's it's helpful in keeping your stuff. Uh, start capture second monitor. I don't have two monitors because I'm poor. Ah, that's a joke. Um, but you know, that would start the capture on your second monitor instead of your first monitor. That's pretty standard. Um, we don't ever stream more than three hours, so this one's kind of dumb. Uh, but you can restart the stream automatically in 24-hour intervals. Um. Background is if you do a 3D mix, you can have a default background image. Uh, I use Hyper, but since I never do a 3D mix, or I use a Hyper logo, but since I never do a 3D mix, it doesn't make any difference, right? Right. Okay, let's go to the game tab. This is where it gets really easy. Um, text color is status dependent all the time. Just leave it. That means that you'll see everyone's text colors. It won't be all white, all black, whatever. Uh, position is uh, upper left, upper right. It's where you want the chat to show up in your game when you're in a full screen game, right? So um, if you want the overlay in the bottom right because the game you're playing has the map in the top right and all of your skills in the top left, then you would drop down and go to bottom right, uh, left floor, middle door, bottom floor, middle door, bottom floor, middle door. Um, hook process, it, this is what the uh, what the overlay shows. Um, it doesn't matter if it shows the hook process. It's nice to see the uh, control game FPS just so that you can see what you're broadcasting at. Hotkeys are your quick keys for broadcasting and stopping and zooming and all of that shit. Um, I think I thought default was Control F1, or maybe that's just the default that I always set to. Um, but Control F1 to start, Escape to stop, Shift Escape on on me to stop. But um, very standard shit. You know, it makes sense. I'm sure you can all figure it out. And uh, that's all for the Procaster tutorials. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, for God's sake, ask someone else. Thank you.